Captain Longclo the Mighty Pirate Once upon a time, when the oceans were the most dangerous places on earth, Captain Longclaw and his fellow pirate Sophie sailed the Caribbean trying to find a mysterious treasure island. After they arrived, their ship sank and disappeared. But Captain Longclaw and pirate Sophie were still determined to find the treasure. They used their map to walk through the island and dug a hole in the sand. Shiver me timbers! Booty! exclaimed the captain. It was a treasure chest. But the captain needed a boat to carry all the golden jewels. Do you think Captain Longclaw and Pirate Sophie were able to build a boat that could hold them and the treasure? Would you be able to make one? The challenge is to make a boat that floats and can hold 8 pennies for at least 30 seconds. Wait, before we start, we need to understand why boats and ships float. Here we have an ice sphere, a steel sphere, a hollow steel sphere, and a wooden sphere. Let's put them in water and see what happens. Well, the wooden ball floats because wood is lighter than water. The ice sphere floats too because frozen water is lighter than liquid water. But why did the hollow steel ball float while the other stayed at the bottom? Steel is much heavier than water. Well, the air inside the hollow metal sphere makes it lighter and helps it float. Why do ships float? Ships and boats are very similar to the hollow sphere. They're made of steel, but they also have a large volume of air inside, and air is less dense than water. A ship at rest has two forces acting on it in opposite directions. The force of gravity is its weight pulling it down. The buoyant force is the water pushing it upward. The ship floats when the force of gravity and the buoyant force are equal. What happens if we add some weight? As we add more and more weight, the weight of the ship grows, so the ship sinks deeper into the water. The deeper the boat sinks in the water, the stronger the buoyant force pushes it back up. Now it's time to create your own pirate ship!